I wanted to go over the Vortex aerator with airlift siphon prior to filling it up with water and test running it. This Vortex aerator with airlift siphon is made from a 32 gallon rubbish bin. The air lift is made of one and a half inch pipe with a bulkhead fitting going through the wall and then creating this 90 and 45 degree bend to create the siphoning or excuse me create the vortex at the bottom of the bin is a half one and a half inch hole with bulkhead fitting also on the side here is the three quarter inch drain with a valve ball valve and as you can tell inside that tees off and then at the end of the T, three quarter inch pipes, there are two 90 degree bends. And the bottom of those bends are below the invert of the T pipe. Thus, I'm able to create a siphon effect when I'm draining it. And then I can drain the water to a lower point than where the pipe is. Once the water gets below the bottom of those 90 degree bend fittings, air will be put into the pipes, breaking the siphon. And the bottom of those 90 degree fittings to the bottom of the tank is about a little less than a half an inch. The airlift siphon pipe is connected at the bottom with a 5 16 tubing, 5 16 inch tubing. You can tell underneath how it comes from underneath the pipe or underneath the bin. The tubing comes to the air pump, which is inside this box. The air pump is 1,750 gallons per hour. At two-thirds full, the air lift began pumping water into the bin at a steady pace. No vortex formed yet but it will. It is now full. Let's see how long it takes to form a vortex. Water initiated at 20 seconds. Forty seconds so far. One minute. Starting to form at 1 minute 15 seconds. Okay.
points in, form, beginning to get depth. is about a little over an inch wide at the top and also one and a half inches. Three minutes in. what the depth is but you can see the bottom there look at that four, four minutes in so sometime between three and four minutes you can see the depth all the way down to the bottom Vortex aerator with airlift now complete. One part of the design I forgot to implement is to put the air hose line above the water level. So if there's a power failure, I do not get water back into flow back into the pump. Don't want that in the air pump. Earlier I mentioned that the vortex went all the way down to the bottom. That is incorrect. After careful analysis, it looks like it's roughly three to four inches deep in the vortex. What you see there is just some air bubbles, some foam. Very minor leakage. There's a small leak right here. And there's a small leak right there coming from this pipe going. I can probably live with those. If I can't, I'll have to drain it and fix it. One look at the pump again. evaporation and water splatter I'll put the top on when I need to which is most of the time all the time except for when I do water sampling testing adding water etc the purpose of this tank of course is to number one mineralize fish waste and number two make compost tea from my worm farm. Next step is to add those elements. But you see here the water is dark because it's from my gray water recycling bin and captured rain water that has a lot of decomposing leaves and things in it. That's what creates the dark color.